Hi, this is Alan Cho. Uh, in our previous uh, tutorials, I always use a white square with black outline as our particle. Uh, and it doesn't even have animation, so it, it looks kind of dull. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own particle uh, with timeline animation. Uh, now, let's, uh, we can see uh, I've already written some code here, and which creates an effect like this. The point source is following my mouse, and the particles are uh, the direction of the particles is uh, upward, and which is here zero negative one, and the particles spread out forty degrees, which is denoted by this direction variation of twenty degrees. Okay, so I'm going to change this particle, this white square, to. Uh, I'm going to do some animation to make it look like a fire effect. So, in order to make my fire look better, I'm going to change the background color to black. And now I'm going to create my fire particle. Okay, get rid of the outline. And I want this to be orange. Okay, this is good. Now I'm going to create a symbol. Export for action script. Okay, and edit it. Uh, I want to create a 50 frame animation. Uh, at the last frame, I want to change it to dark red and create a shape tween. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is the. Uh, this looks good. Now I'm going to add a stop function. Oops. At the last frame, in order not to let it loop when it reaches the last frame. Okay, now delete this instance. Change this box to fire. Now let's see. All right. So now you can see uh, this is our fire particle. Uh, and you see the newly created particle instance is randomly placed in the display list order. I want uh, newer particles to be. Uh, over the older particles. So we can change the emitter's add child mode property. Uh, the default value is uh, we have some constant constants defined in this add child mode class. The default value is uh, random. And I want this to be top. So as you can see, Newly created particles are on top of uh, older particles. And there is also another mode, which is the bottom mode. Now you can see the older particles are on top of newly created particles. Alright, so this is how you create a fancier particle effect with simple timeline animations.